Hello and welcome back to A Build A Day. It's episode 39 and I have a big one. Um, yeah, I um, I came home. Um, I watched a... Actually, I didn't watch YouTube, did I? I can't even remember. It wasn't that long ago and I can't even remember what I did. But I, um, I immediately googled uh, Ferrix, which, if you don't know, is a planet in Star Wars, and it's shown in the TV series Andor, uh, which is the newest one, came out very recently. Um, I loved it. Uh, I very, very much enjoyed it, and this build is based sort of loosely off Ferrix. Um, but it's also based slightly off what I've been imagining is another setting in Star Wars. Um, I can't remember for the life of me what the planet is called, but it is in the Aftermath trilogy. Uh, in the first book, which I've been reading because I finished Lord of the Rings, I'm now reading the Aftermath trilogy. Um, and this is sort of based off what I've been imagining the, um, that sort of to be like, um, with a lot of flat roofs, sort of, while they say, like, stuff like CBD, like Central Business District, you know, which I feel like, if, especially if you're from the United States, you would probably associate with big buildings, towers, you know, skyscrapers. Whereas me, being from the United Kingdom, we don't really have many skyscrapers over here. Um, they're mostly all in London and in like Manchester, the big cities. Um, and I don't live, well, I, I live in a village, which is obviously not a big city, but it, I also don't live near a big city. Um, I live near Cambridge, which is, well, it's, I, I think the last, uh, no, that'd be the 2011 census, I think was um, three and a half, no, 300,000, roughly, I think, people. Um, it's just like, I mean, it's obviously a lot of people, but it, I mean, it pales in comparison to London. It's really small. There is no skyscrapers. I think, like, one of the tallest buildings in terms of, like, floors is like four um because obviously you've got ground floor in the united kingdom you've got ground floor first floor second floor third fourth um so i think in the us that'd be five um so i mean yeah no skyscrapers none whatsoever and that's what i imagine this place to be is um this setting in my star wars book um, I imagine it sort of so, so small, uh, small buildings, flat roofs, um, with obviously bigger buildings. Um, they they do mention I think a, a three-story building. Um, so you know, I mean, some of them get decently high, but you get those where I live. So you know, it's and building one of those in Minecraft is like, that is big in sort of Minecraft terms. So I wanted to keep them small. Um, I wanted to sort of have a, a red, sort of brown, sort of earthier, warm tones. Um, because that's that's what they use on Ferrix. Um, the entire place feels cold. Um, it feels very cold. The weather seems almost always overcast. Um, it's always got like an overcast look. Um, the ground is, you know, quite dark. It's quite, it's really, the light level is very low. Um, there's a lot of clouds. Um, and just the way it's shot is it feels cold. The outside feels cold. So all of the buildings have sort of like a, 
earthy tones, warm tones, everybody's wearing sort of oranges and reds and some other earthy tones and stuff and they all feel like they're warm, you know, the buildings all feel warm, the people all feel like they're wearing warm clothes. Um, so I wanted to sort of imitate that, but slightly differently. So um, I've, I've put my own sort of spin on the, the roofs. Uh, they're all flat, apart from a couple. Um, and some of them have a trim of frog lights, uh, which, oh, I'm so glad I did that because it looks, I mean, it just looks like some sci-fi. Um, that's not a word, but y you know what I mean. Um, and uh, yeah, it looked, it looked really good. Um, and oh, the, the color palette for this, I, I picked it out beforehand. It took me a decent amount of time to, to pick everything out, but I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy I didn't improvise. Um, and that I didn't um, sort of go with the flow. Uh, I'm very happy I planned it out because sometimes I go with the flow and it works out. Um, and sometimes I go with the flow and it doesn't. Um, and um, I have to say though, most of the builds that I've done in this world, I, I haven't been going, I've been going with the flow and a lot of them have turned out all right. Um, although I have put considerable thought in while I'm going with the flow, so it's almost like I develop a colour palette while building it. Um, but I've been rambling and we're like halfway through the video, um, we've built a lot. So I guess, um, I, yeah, I don't really, I mean, it's, it's all been on, on screen, so this, this video is I think it's it's quicker um, by a little bit than some of the other videos because this build took me 45 minutes um, and a, like 45 seconds or something. It was basically three quarters of an hour. It's a big build, you know, it's a pretty big build and I did, you know, minimal detailing. Um, so, well, I say minimal detailing, I did quite a lot of detailing, but I think if I was building this like proper, like, you know, just time, you know, putting a video out today wasn't a factor. One, it would be bigger. Um, and two, it would have a lot more detail. It would have so much more detail. Um, it's like little things, you know, really, really little things. Like on this back wall, I would have probably noticed um, before I did um, that like this was going to be just a giant flat wall and that I should put something here. Um, I, I improvised in the moment and put in a house, but I think I, I would have liked to have put a bit of like graffiti or a bit of street art up on that wall. And that would have meant that I would have to have double layered that wall. And I would have been able to plan for that, you know, if I was taking the time to properly build this. So it's, it took a long time to build, um, but it, you know, I mean, look at it, it, it went well, it, 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 it proved results. Um, and uh, yeah, I, um, I sort of, I was going around this and I was, I was slowly, I mean, improving some of the things that I was doing to build. Um, and I think this entire build in general is, I think, the second best build that I've ever done, which is, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and I can improve it more, which is even better. Um, you know, just finding little areas. But my sort of thought process for this build, I guess, was um, the, the shape initially. Um, there's a lot of shape. You know, if you break it down, you remove all the details. It's, they're all rectangles with various bits chopped off on the corner. So on the corner, one of them's just a, a curve and the other one diagonally chopped off one of the corners. And that's all the shape that I did. 
all of it. That is it. Um, and then I changed the shape of the roofs. So obviously one's got a, a curved corner, one's got a 45 degree angle on one of the corners. But two of the roofs have got slants on them and the rest are flat. And then I changed the sort of roof trim design and um, how the roof actually worked. Um, and that was part of my thought process to randomize it, to make it feel different, make everything feel unique. And then obviously I've, I've added a, a second level to one of the buildings and, you know, it, it adds like a layered bit of height that, you know, it, it, it adds something, you know, there. It's like, it feels better. You know, like you could easily do this and have everything be just one story, you know, just the ground floor. But then adding a first floor to one of the buildings, you know, it adds like a little bit of verticality and stuff and just mixes it up a bit. And then obviously you add details, you add the details on, on the front and it adds depth and, you know, and then obviously you can texture the builds. Um, and stuff like that and that ad adds sort of um, you know, extra complexity um, and then I've, I've obviously got like general details like I, I sort of initially I knew I want to have things hanging up so my, my first idea was you know I could have a bridge going between two buildings that was the initial idea two buildings a path going between them and a bridge going over the path and this is what it evolved into, um, a, a T-junction with two sort of groups of buildings um, on either side with sort of ropes going across with banners on them. And, you know, I, I mean, you can have so many ideas for what the banners are. Um, you know, you just think up a story. If, if you have a reason for something being there, it feels better being there, if you get what I mean. Basically, if you give something a reason in your head, then it will fit where it is, you know? So for me, like those those banners, they could be like, you know, they could be a cultural symbol or they could be something to do with um, like washing up, you know? Like people hang their washing up. You know, um, so they could be washing, they could be something cultural, you know, and then you do that and you immediately have a reason for it existing and it feels more like it exists. Um, it feels like it has a unity. Um, yeah, the video is over. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.